In April, the US Equestrian Team Foundation announced that Lily Keenan was this year's recipient of the Maxine Beard Show Jumping Award. The prize is presented to young, talented riders who have the potential to represent the USA in international competition. The accolade is testament to the 19-year-old's passion and determination to succeed as a top rider. Lily turned professional in 2015, but is now combining riding with her studies at Harvard University. It's a way of life that she's been used to ever since she first started riding at the age of six. I think that riding, for me, and going to school actually is a crucial balance because having school to go back to and every day I go into class, no one knows whether I fell off or won the weekend before. That's grounding and I think it's actually really helped me. That's also taught me to prioritize and really given me the focus that I needed to improve my riding and my academics. But it's a difficult balance, but I'm lucky that I go to a university where every individual is so driven and it might not have anything to do with my interests, but there's something and it's really a unique group of people. So yes, I go to a difficult school, but I'm extremely lucky to do so and I'm lucky to say that I'm very busy. After experiencing a glittering junior career, this highly motivated young lady is not one for sitting around. She was with Andre Danielli and the team at Heritage Farm, but has now changed course. Lily started riding with Ireland's Olympic medalist, Kean O'Connor, at the beginning of last summer. She was in a transitional period, having just left high school, so looking to try something a little different. I've ridden with Kean for a little less than a year now, and I would say that he is a passionate teacher. He um, is driven to find the best way to coach each individual, which I think is a unique skill, but also that takes time, and it takes effort, and you really have to love what you do. But I have really been able to see his love for the horse and his individualized approach. I'm still learning every day, and even when he's with me at the ring, after we watch the videos, we make sure that I truly understand and we discuss what I feel and what he thinks I should do. But it's not just teacher and coach, you know, everything's a discussion, which is really special to feel like when you're taught something that you have a voice and you can explain what you're feeling, and to be speaking to someone who understands horses so well. Uh, she's very determined, she's very focused, she, Lily's very lucky that she's got great support from her family. Um, her dad uh, is very successful in the work that he does and he provides the horses, which, which we all need as good horses. Her mum was a, a very good uh, competitor herself and rode to a high level, so she's very supportive and offering advice and so on to Lily. But uh, she wants this job, she wants to do it and she's hungry. And um, I think that combined with talent and the right horses, good programme, good coaching and management, should go a long way. During our visit to the Winter Equestrian Festival in Wellington, Lily took third place in the Douglas Elliman CSI event on Super Socks, her 10-year-old Hanoverian gelding. Not bad for her first five-star Grand Prix. A couple of weeks later, the duo repeated their placing in the HITS Great American $1 million event. Kian O'Connor finished second in what was a satisfying outcome for both riders, but more importantly, Kian's tuition is showing early dividends, and it's a huge inspirational boost for his young student. I have many role models, and there's people that I feel I'm inspired by every day. But my main role models, well, my mom always has been. She's always been with me. She was there the first time I got on a pony, and she's still with me today. Doesn't miss a show. Uh, but in terms of really equestrians, Ken O'Connor, of course, my coach and my mentor. Um, BZ Madden, being an American, being a female rider at the top of the sport and having sustained success. Uh, she's incredible. Two years ago, BZ Madden, who we met earlier in the show, broke her collarbone and asked Lily if she'd ride a couple of her horses in the junior divisions at Spruce Meadows. She's been, you know, since she was 13, I think she's a real talent and at the same time has a great head on her shoulders and good under pressure and everything and she's trying to compete and study at Harvard at the same time which is difficult but she's doing a great job with that already and I think uh, she's going to be a bright future for us with the US team. 
The Maxine Beard Award also offers the opportunity for Lily to shadow the USA team as they prepare for Rio. It's a wonderful experience for her as she works towards joining the elite riders in competition. The future is in her hands. A girl can dream. Um, you know, I, whenever anyone asks me about my long-term goals, it's the Olympic Games, World Equestrian Games, World Cup Finals, every championship I, I plan to jump and I plan to medal. So 2020 might be a little soon. If I have a special horse and I get lucky, uh, I will have just graduated from university in 2019. So it's cutting a little close. Uh, I'm focusing on really just learning every day and trying to get better. But I would say 2020, maybe it's a dream, but the Olympics is definitely my plan.